What's up, fellow troublemakers? Welcome back to Cha Cha Draws. Today we are going to be talking about what I like to refer to as the evil trifecta. If you didn't get it from the intro, that's the repeated calls to action. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Now, I think it's important to point out that there is no shade intended to any of the creators on YouTube for any of their calls to action. We all have to deal with the things we have to deal with, you know? I mean, it could have been several hundred years ago and we could have had to deal with a wealthy patron and instead we have to deal with YouTube's engagement rules and that is just how it rolls. So every single artist out there who you know, constantly reminds you to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I get why they're doing what they're doing, and I can fully support it. But, y'all, I hate it so much. I don't want to ask you to like my stuff. I want you to like it if you like it. Like, I want that to be a thing you do under your own impetus. I don't want to ask you to subscribe. Like, am I basically just saying to you, hey, I want you to let me impose on your life whenever I choose to post. And I want you to prove to me that you always want to hear what I have to say by subscribing to my nonsense. It's not good enough for you to watch the video. You also have to subscribe to all my future videos because otherwise, how will I know you like me? You really like me. Out of all the calls to action though, I have to say leave a comment is the worst. I appreciate the creators who bother to give you something to leave a comment on. Like, what do you think about this? Or tell me what the next subject of my drawing should be, or at least a, a concrete conversation topic. But just the random like, leave a comment below if you like this video. Like, that is putting some people on the spot. At least half the people I know who watch YouTube videos are solid, hardcore introverts. And now you want them to just say something? off the top of their heads? What kind of monster are you? So when I decided to do this, I thought a little bit about the kind of apparitions I wanted to represent the evil trifecta. We've got our little skeleton lurker over here with the thumbs up. And then we've got our little ghost girl who could really pop up anywhere with her subscribe bell. And then last but not least, we have the evil, truly smarmy looking, floating, disembodied head with the ginormous mouth, perpetually prepared to leave a comment. Come on now, y'all can tell me. Is it just me? This irritates everybody, doesn't it? I mean, the fact that the creators feel the need to ask and also the fact that you're constantly bombarded with requests to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I'm sure you don't mind supporting your favorite creators. That's not the problem. The problem is we've got this culture set up where you have to do the thing, because if you don't do the thing, people might forget to do their thing, and then if they don't do their thing, then nobody's going to see your videos in the algorithm, and then, oh my god, your art might not get seen. And, I mean, I, I don't know about all the other YouTubers who are artists, but we're all here because we want our stuff to get seen, and we want people to have a chance to engage with it. 
it's just the mandatory engagement that strikes me as <sighs> creepy. Of course, the most evil aspect of the trifecta is how they draw us in to engage with them, even when we don't want to. So, you know, like if you like this video, and subscribe if you also feel trapped in a capitalist zeitgeist that will not let your art run free. And leave a comment about the weirdest and most random thing you feel compelled to do for either a job or something you'd like to build into a career. Cause you know we're all in this together, and I'm here to support you too. Of course, the irony of it all is that, in the end, I rather like how this piece, based on something I hate, turned out. I guess that's the way with art, right? Something that engenders strong emotion is much more likely to turn out into a good art piece, even if that emotion isn't necessarily fun for you. Anyway, I just needed some way to express my feelings and crankiness. And, and this worked out well for me. So, I hope you enjoyed it too. And you know, don't forget, like, subscribe, and leave a comment.